and welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a kill around. We're playing as the pig, and this is our aura reading pig. We're giving a try here. We're going to take a look at her loadout really quick. We have nurses calling. Find out where survivors are healing when they're close to us. Barbecue and chili, which will help us see the auras of survivors whenever we hook someone and they're a good distance away. Uh, we have discordance, which will help us see auras of more than, or not auras, but it'll see that a generator will be lit up when more than one survivor is working on it. And we have ruin that'll slow the game down. Uh, aura reading will come from Amanda's letter. So we're only going to have one bear trap in this game, but we will be able to see auras of survivors whenever we crouch. And they're close, and we're sending ourselves to Hawkins. Hawkins, an indoor map that will give us a lot of line of sight blockers. But we will be able to see auras. So the idea is we will be staying in our crouch mode, our undetectable mode, as much as possible. Welp. Let's see if we can get some good luck as somebody is sending us to Glenvale. Glenvale is not where we would have liked to have gone. I almost never burn a map offering. And to have somebody do a map offering here is is really a little bit disappointing because we don't have a lot of map offerings for the pig and we really wanted to see how this build worked. So can we get a little bit lucky? We probably know the answer to that, but let's see if we can get a little bit lucky and have our map offering take precedence and, and us end up going to... Hawkins would be ideal. If we end up on the on the western map, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Western map has plenty of wide open spaces, and that's not exactly... Oh, okay, we got some good luck. Now let's see if we can capitalize on it. Assuming that they're playing as a group... We're going to assume they're playing as a group, and in playing as a group, they're going to know that the killer is the one who sent them here to Hawkins. Ah. Hi there. Well, that's going to be somebody who's going to very quickly let their let their teammates know what's going on. All right, we only have one hat. Uh, the question is going to be, are they gonna, that one with iron will right there. The question is going to be whether or not they're going to let their teammates know how easily they were found when they weren't making any noise. Well, generator is done. Buddy. Ah. <laughs> All right, we lost them, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. All right, I get you down. Uh, 
Am I sabotaging my hook already? And I know you're there. Arrows to Cheryl. Alright, come back, Cheryl. I'm here, Cheryl. We couldn't get around that corner. Oh, somebody knew. her. Alright. Oh, come here. Huh. Alright. I guess to see if we can see. Pallet out of here. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Ah! All right. And yeah, we saw him go right in that locker, thanks to that, uh, Thanks to our a little crouch there. Don't see anybody close. But they're there. your head on. Ah! Ha! What's up, Cheryl? Ah! There you go, Cheryl. Hi. I knew you were there. Oh, this is turning into kind of exactly what we wanted to do with it. Get you off the hook, but get you hung up.
get you down. I said this is uh this is working quite well actually. Oh, up until that. All right. Okay. Oh, we almost got him there. Again, how do we not get him on that one? Uh, I'm not really sure how we missed that, but... That time, we're not. All right, let's get you up. Oh, no more head-ons or silliness like that. And there you go, Cheryl. get you up on a right back up here and and that's going to be it for you all right All right. See, we can see exactly where she's going here. Oh, we almost got her. All right. We're not bothering to take these pallet stuns. We want to... not bothering with the pallets so much. That has not been an issue. At this point, they've got to get two gens done. Two of which are upstairs, and Ruin is still in play, and that's another one of those things about this match. With this map. As long as Ruin's in play, it's going to be very difficult for them to get these generators done. Oh, Cheryl. That was not ideal. I could hear the generator, but I could also see it.
at this point, it's going to come down to the hatch. gonna be That was a tough match. <laughs> wiggle off, wiggle off, come on, come on, wiggle off. Again, we still have the event going on, so. And we see somebody with a crown, so. I think the build worked well enough. We could easily gotten the 4K here. And that's a pretty nasty bill. Yep, come on, boop my snoot. Boop my snoot. There you go. Yep, there you go. We could have gotten the 4K. <laughs> yep. Have a good one. Enjoy your crown. <laughs> so, I think we could say... Amanda's Secret on a map like Hawkins or an indoor map, very devastating. Very, very devastating. That was a lot of fun. The aura reading was pretty intense there. They dropped a lot of pallets on us. They were able to get a little bit of distance and chase, but they just were never, ever able to hide. And that's a... Uh, like I said, that's a little different build for the pig. The pig who's you're used to seeing slow the game down with their traps. We had that one trap in the very beginning, but that is not what this particular build's about. And and, and ironically, the person we let out is the person who sent us to uh, is the person who sent us to to Glenvale or was trying to. Uh, that right there is about as solid a match as you'll have with that letter. But a very powerful add-on it is. On maps like that where there is no line of sight, very, very easy to get the jump on survivors. And plenty of times, I, not only was I right in their vicinity, but I was right around a corner and able to, to, to surprise them. And at least even if I couldn't land direct hits coming off of the, the jump scare, I was able to close distance to get close to them without that terror radius and knew a couple times they were very good in finding places to hide that I might have overlooked ordinarily, but no place to hide this particular time around with Amanda's letter. So that's a fun build. We're going to have to try that again at another point. Uh, maybe actually for a change in my blood web, I'll start looking for some of those Hawkins and Larry's and, and Gideon meat plant maps in order to play this build. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the little bit different look at the pig. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It would help us to grow the channel immensely. And we do release new Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis. Until the next time, thanks again. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.